Okay, well, I take that back. As soon as I stopped the camera, a giant gargoyle decided he was going to jump through the pond here, kick down the farm door, and start flooding our farms. Um, the only person we have in the military right now is Brandon Gaming. He's doing an individual combat drill. I don't really want to send him out there alone. So let's pull up the military screen. And I want to put Nil. He's got... I think he's got some dodging points that I spent on him, and he does have a pickaxe. Whether or not he'll use it, we'll see. Um, yep. And then, let's see, pull up the military screen, and I want both of them for now to come stand. Um, I don't know which way the gargoyle's gonna go. So they can stand right here in the hallway. I think that's what I said. Press A, and then move right there. Yep. Go station yourselves in that hallway and get ready. We're going to charge the gargoyle before he can come do anything. Farm plot destroyed. Oh, please tell me he's the only one. One giant gargoyle, yep. So we'll have to go take care of him. So far, Brandon Gaming is the only one who's shown up. Um, oh, I don't know, should I chase that gargoyle before he flies away through back through the pond? We'll bide our time for a moment. Go kick down our farm plot, you bastard. Sick him, cat. Cat sees the water and turns around and runs away. Well, where did Nil go? That's what I want to know. Station, station. Zoomed creature. I think he was just getting armor. Or maybe going and grabbing that dagger. One of those five daggers we brought along. Everyone could be armed if need be. Wait. Where did that gargoyle go? Um, our farmers are back down there at the farm plots. I don't like that. Giant gargoyle. Wild animal. He's already over there by the edge of the map. Are you leaving? I just know he's going to go after one of my peasants soon. He rips and runs through the warthogs. They snort at him. Oh gosh, where's he going? He's flying somewhere. Damn gargoyle. Um, use this screen again. He's way up there. He's on 140. I think my base is on 120. 143 is as high as I can go. And you're a hard one to follow. He's on top of our base. Okay, there he is. So far, everyone is thankfully inside. Oh, there he is. Interrupted. He came down into the workshops and destroyed our mechanics workshop. It's time. Let's set to kill. Select our squad. And they are set to kill the giant gargoyle. Run, civilians! The two half-assed military will take care of it. The gargoyle starts chasing. Chasing Hippo Man, the stray cat, and J. Clar down the hallway. The demon just sits there and laughs. Probably the Harbringer who brought this. Now the gargoyle chases. Chases gargles. He catches gargles. In the right lower wind light right lower arm. Gargles is is winded. His lung is bruised. The gargle the gargoyle slams that's confusing. The gargoyle the gargoyle slams gargles around. I think gargles. You did something to his guts. Your lower body is broken, gargoyle. Your little body is smashed, your guts are broken, and Brandon Gaming is coming along. Brandon Gaming charges through the water, catches up to the gargoyle, starts pummeling him with a giant axe, and strikes him down. Uh, we'll tell them that they no longer have a kill order. Pause the game real quick. Cancel kill order. So O is for canceling any orders you've given your military. And giant gargoyle, the first dead thing here. Oh, please don't die, gargles. Let's see what happened to you. Your guts is bruised, your left lung is bruised, your right lower leg is torn open. Um, you can pause it and scroll through all of your information there if you want. I can't read it right now. Your health is severe blood loss, trouble breathing, ability to stand lost, motor nerve damage, sensory nerve damage. I don't have a hospital built yet, so let, let's build one real quick. In this room, we will make this the hospital. I think it's I for zone or 
is it P for a stockpile that we do this? Um, just place it first. Yep, so place the zone first with I, and then H for hospital, and then shift H for hospital information. And you can adjust how much stuff is stored there. I don't think I really need to adjust anything right now. I don't have most of the stuff. I don't think I have splints or crutches or soap. I might have some buckets if my carpenters didn't get scared away by that gargoyle. Um, let's place a few beds in here. There's one bed. I don't have a chair. I don't have a table. don't have a cabinet. I do have a few um, rabbit leather bags we can place over here. Actually, poplar chests. That'll work. Put a chest there. We'll line this wall with chests. Sorry, Barracks, you don't get the chests today. And I know there's some specific stockpiles you're supposed to chase, um, place. I think for thread, soap, and stuff, but since I don't have any of it right now, I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, don't let gargles die. Now, our military, I think I can go ahead and have them stand down. They can go to inactive. Well, nope. Actually, I take that back. We'll make them active, but Nil, you can come out of the military. Remove him, and it's just back to Brandon Gaming. Oh, and we'll see if Gargles makes it. I don't know if someone with broken guts can do it. You didn't lose any limbs, though, so pick your guts back up and walk on, soldier. If it wasn't for you, the Gargoyle might not have hurt anyone. If it would have ran into Brandon Gaming first, everything might have been okay. Cave potato seeds. So our seeds are getting strewn all over the floor. There's our farm plots. We need to get all that cleaned up. I need to get a door placed back on the pond there so our farms can get running. Um, thankfully, he didn't destroy any of, our, any, of, any of our important workshops. I don't have to waste time building one of them back. You bide your time and laugh, demon. We'll kill you eventually. Gargles, you're faint, thirsty, you're just laying there telling everyone that you'll be fine. You'll walk it off, you say. Just give you some space. The cats come start licking the blood off your forehead. Well, it's 10th Fell Site 316. Hopefully the hospital will be set up soon. I'll try to get some crutches and splints ordered. I don't think that's going to help Gargle, so he probably needs thread and soap, and I don't know when we'll be able to get those. So the battle with the Gargoyle was a test that our military is not the strongest or most mobile in the world yet. And who was that? J. Clark brought Gargle some water. Gargle says, thanks, man. I just, I just want to lay here a bit longer. Don't worry about me. Okay, well, it's now summer. It is the first hematite, early summer. Um, Gargles has been dragged to the lone bed, finally. Hippo Man got around to carrying him there. And we got a wall built here so that the water will stop draining on the farms. Uh, once that farm plot gets built, I will go ahead and just set it up. You can see Gargles' blood is all over the place. It's tracked in and out of the, the front. Tracked and streamed all around there. I think there was even, uh, I guess the rain washed it away. Any blood that's outside will be washed away by the rain. I'm pretty sure this blood that is scattered throughout the base, I'll have to make soap before I can get rid of it. I've got um, our miner set to remove all of the ramps around this little basin. That way nothing can flank us from that side, unless it can fly, of course. We found out the gargoyle can easily fly over our walls and come down our stairwells here. I might think about sealing up some of those and just having one main stairwell somewhere. Um, maybe this could be a main stairwell. It is large enough. Just a massive staircase. Still not sure exactly how I'm... I guess I'll worry about that later. I was going to say I'm not sure how we're going to build our, our stairwell down to the cavern. Uh, I don't know if I want to do a, a straight down central staircase or a spiraling ramp staircase or something else. I guess we'll see when we get there. Oh, 
poor gargles. You're resting. No telling if you'll ever be able to work again. Right lower leg. Damaged. Thirsty. Health. Thirsty ability to stand. Lost. Motor nerve damage and sensory nerve damage. And you got some treatment by Hippo Man there. Obviously didn't do very much for you. So that's all that's going on right now. Fortress is still just chugging along. We've got one injured. Well, the farms are up and running again. And pretty soon I'm going to try to, um, I think, build a, a system of pumps or something to try and breach through this aquifer. I may also dig around a little bit more and see if there's any other locations where we can dig further. I think there was a biome on this side of the map that, that might, might allow us to dig deeper. And if we can dig deeper, then we can dig back this way and go underneath the aquifer that's over here. And then maybe come up, up above from below. That would be easier. But we'll see. For now, though, we'll just let the dwarves go back to it. Okay, well, some migrants have arrived. It is... 18th hematite, early summer, and let's see, how many did we get? Um, we're up to 13 now, so we'll let them stream in, come make themselves at home. Actually, they don't even get a chance. Before I give them names, let's see. Um, put the wood crafter in there, and the metal crafter. And I guess everyone else will have to funnel in, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna completely send it, all of them probably into the military, almost all of them anyways. Can't risk having a more than what if one, what if more than one gargoyle shows up? What if a forgotten beast shows up right now? Apparently, Brandon Gaming and the demon are sta demon are staring at each other eye to eye. Oh. Brandon loses. The demon still hasn't budged. Gargoyles is still bedridden. And who's that? There's our metal crafter. Um, Hippo Man. You've also turned into a miner, so you and Nil are finishing up the outside um, landscaping. The very rough preliminary landscaping. I think I'll actually also um, remove all of these stairs, all of these slopes. And the only way to come into the base will be through these ramps here, through this little gully here. That's where all the murderers will have to come through, all of the invaders, all of, uh, all of the traitors. And they'll make their way down, down, down through here. Got that channeled out. Um, still not sure what I'm doing here, still trying to decide on it. Don't know. Looking up some designs on the wiki right now, reading some forum threads, trying to figure out exactly how to best approach this. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens get through there somehow. I guess um, since we do have two miners, I will start sending out some expedi uh, some exploratory mining shafts towards the edges of the map. We've got different stuff up here around these ponds. Damp swamp peat. That's not stone though. Um, black bog wall. Might not head that direction. Here's something. A damp rough hewn goethite wall. All the way up there. Yeah, we might start mining back then through this way. I guess this can be the entrance to our mine shaft. Um, we'll just send one, one, one tendril out that way. Oops, switch over to mining. There we go. And just push that through. With any luck, we'll hit a huge stone layer, and we can dig down for several, um, several layers. And we can just completely ignore trying to punch through the aquifer here. So it's 22nd Hematite, early summer. Whenever we come back, I'll already have the uh, the new migrants named. And have all of them in the military. Let's go ahead and just load them up right there. We'll see, what, we'll see who we got. Uh, a woodcutter, and a farmer, and another woodcutter, and a fish dissector. Well... I guess I don't need any more woodcutters, so that'll have to do.